I'm going to show you is how to bring up an amplifier uh, that you don't know is unknown. So this particular one is just freshly built. So we're going to show you how to bring it up on a Variac to normal working voltage. The working voltage in Europe is 230 volts. So we'll show you to bring that up slowly. In our second video, we will show you how to test the frequency response from it, which is the roll-off on the base end and the high end, high frequencies. Uh, normal frequency response is measured at minus 3 dB down, but for the sake of the video, we'll also show you how to test the 0 dB line, which is the flat response curve. And in the third video, we'll show you how to test the output power from this video. Uh, my name is Graham Holland, I'm the owner of Audion, and this is our 2011 intern, Kieran. In this test, we will measure the power output from an Audion Sterling EL34 Mark I printed circuit board. For this test, we need an oscilloscope and we need a signal generator and in our case a millivolt meter, but you could equally use uh, a normal multimeter of this type that is shown. So to start with, we have our power amp. It's set up at full volume. Uh, as, as described before, we are starting the test at 1 kilohertz at uh, 1 watt, which is a 0 dB mark. So what we need to do for this test, because we are going to increase the voltage, and the voltage output we're expecting is around about 10 volts. So we increase the voltage rating of the oscilloscope now to 50 volts per channel. We're looking for distortion here. The same with the meter, we increase the millivolt meter to 15 volts full scale deflection and we decrease the attenuation from 60 dB to 30 dB. Right, so we, we turn that down, we start from scratch, what we do is we build up uh, voltage. Have you got up to about um, halfway up Kieran, look, look for around about the 10, 9 or 10 volts. And at that point, as we're increasing the voltage, you'll see the amplitude increasing on the oscilloscope. What we're looking for is the start of distortion point, which is a tail off on the bottom curve of the sine wave. You'll see it starting there. From the millivolt meter now, you'll see we have about 10 volts. So 10 volts and we have a slight distortion there. So if you back it off a little bit until we're just there, that's perfect. So we have about nine, nine and a half volts. So we'll take a rough measurement for the time being. And we know that power is equal to voltage squared divided by resistance. And we know the voltage squared is 10, squared is 100. We know the resistance coming out of the amplifier is set at 8 ohms. So 8 into 100 gives 12.5. When we backed off, it's approximately 12, 11.5 to 12 watts of power. 